Hello from my Gambia. It's a day before Good Friday and we are about to witness how Nanburu is made. Good Friday is known in the Gambia as Nanburu Day where Catholic will prepare Nanburu and serve it to neighbors, friends and relatives. It is also prepared during uh, festive, festive days or parties and sometimes people can also prepare it and sell it to make a living out of it. So when you are preparing Nanburu, the first thing you need is rice. So you will soak the rice in water and then drain it inside this basket so that all the water will be drained out of it before you take it to the machine. So in case you have taken it to the machine and then you're told it is not dry yet, it's still a bit wet, you can use a cloth. Most of the time it can be a cotton cloth that will be able to soak the water out of it and then try to do like this. This will drain the water as much as possible because it doesn't have to be in the sun for a long time. So after that, cover it with a clean cloth so that impurities will not enter the rice. Now we are at the machine. So when you bring the rice to the machine, they will have to count how many pots are there in the rice. Eight pot costs $2.50 butuks. So after counting it, it is put in the machine and then when the machine pounds it into a powder, it will come through here and then into this hole, then it will pass here where it will turn into a powder. There is a sieve there that will sift it before it uh, puts the powder inside the pan. This right here is protecting the powder from flying all over since it has wings. Uh, it's blown by a wind to come into the park. So we are starting the process of boiling. Okay, now we are done with the boiling, and the next thing we are going to do after boiling is to steam the balls. So whilst you are steaming the balls, you can also soak the uh, baobab into water so that it will be soft before we start to make the juice of the baobab. So one thing is, the balls of this depends on your own taste and your liking. Some people want the ball like this, some want it a bit bigger, while others would prefer it a little bit smaller. But if it is so big, the balls might not be well cooked. Uh, the, the balls might not be well cooked when you are steaming it. So it's better to have a medium size or smaller size so that you can have a tasty nanburu. Now we are sieving the baobab to remove the seeds and other unneeded materials in the juice. The baobab has been soaked for a while and now we are going to stir, uh, make a juice out of it and this is it. So after that we will go and look at our rice balls whether they are steam enough or not. So now we are still uh, steaming the the rice balls and here it is it's almost ready 
just a bit more because you can still see these white parts of the rice so everything has to be like this before you take it out of the fire So this has already been uh, steamed. Now we will put hot water on this as well and allow it to cool down for a while. The reason why we are adding hot water is to make uh, the ball softer. Because after taking it out of the, uh, from the colander, it's normally a, a little bit harder. So it won't be easy to chew. So we add hot water to make it softer. Some will pound it. But the simplest method is to add, uh, add hot water. Okay, what I am doing right now is trying to mix this because after putting it in the hot water to cool down, when it cools down, it's all tangled up like this and very hot. So you have to make sure to be adding a little bit of baobab. And be mixing it from down this is going to be a little bit hard but you have to try and do it while adding try to mix it the more you mix and add baobab it will separate and then look like this so but this thing is still thick and tangled up down there so we still have to keep going uh, after doing this, right now, this is just the dissolved baobab. So when everything is mixed here, then we will add more baobab. That is the thick baobab because this is a bit <coughs> watery. Uh, we will add the thick baobab there and then sh uh, sugar, milk, resin. And if you want to add something else like fruits, that will be your choice to make. But this is the way that you do it. So after putting the milk inside the nanburu, then you can put the sugar. The reason you put the milk is because this milk has a, a little bit of has sugar in it. So the concentration of sugar is very thick in the milk. That, that is why you put the milk first, then you can put your sugar so that you will know the level of your sugar while uh, after putting the milk. So after the sugar, you will add the resin inside. After putting the resin, then you add the dissolved baobab to it. So after adding the baobab, you just add your flavors there. This is orange uh, flower. And this is essence, banana. Okay. Then this is cocoa powder. You add a uh, cocoa powder to it. So this is the finished product of Nanburu and it's very tasty. Let me just have. Mm, amazing.